a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. This chart that you're seeing up here on the in the Tiger's Den, folks, uh, is the weekly chart of the euro. It's one of the main reasons that I came back. There were three reasons. I was going to take the week off, but there were three reasons. One was this chart. Number two, Norm Winsky has this really big date coming up here with this uh, full new moon and uh, solar eclipse that we have coming up here in the today, uh, next couple of days that usually have an orb of about two days on it. And uh, the third thing is, is that I'm going to be doing the money show uh, over in Las Vegas, and uh, I'm going to be real busy for those Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Only one of those days I get to play poker, so I'll be playing poker all day, which was really good. And I have to tell you something really funny that happened here on Friday, folks. I took the day off completely because I had made a couple of errors. I didn't lose any money, but I missed a buy, and I, and I forgot to put an order in on another one. Whenever I do that, I know that I'm overtired, so I took the whole day off. And I went down to our little Desert Diamond Casino here where we have our little 10-table uh, card room. And we have a really good game on Friday. And I was playing, and a man came up behind me, and he tapped me on the shoulder. And he said, Larry Pesavento. And, of course, I turned around looking. It was uh, 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 His name is Leon Lee. He's from um, Kansas. And he wanted me to sign the book. Uh, trade, you know, trade what you see. And so I got up and I went over to the table uh, away and I spent a few minutes chatting with him. And, and uh, it, it was really fun to see him. I hadn't seen him in a couple of years. He comes down every year to, uh, to spend, uh, he's known as a snowbird. They leave Kansas and then goes back in the spring. He was on his way home. But the, the problem was, is when I, when I came back to the game and he had left, the people all wanted to know, why are you signing books? Are you, they don't know what I do. I mean, most of them don't even know my last name. A few people there do. The dealers do, but none of the other players. And we're usually regular players. And so it was really funny. And they thought they thought I was somebody famous. And I said, no, no, no. I said, I'm signing those books for Dr. Leslie, who's one of my buddies that taught at the university here uh, for 30 years. So I, I snuck away from it. But not everybody believed it, but I uh, had that experience. And then the week before, on Saturday, I was playing in a tournament Saturday morning. Uh, I try to play twice a week because it's more fun than golf and it's a little bit profitable. Uh, and I'm sitting there, and the guy is an elderly guy. Actually, he was 10 years younger than me. He was uh, 73, and he, uh, he had a UCLA hat on, plus he had a UCLA championship ring. And so I said, that's a championship ring from uh, UCLA? And he said, yes. He said, I played for them. He said, 67, 68. And 69, which were the years that uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played, and they won national championships. He was from Tucson, and he, he played. He was a reserve, so he didn't get to play very much. But he said, he said, I, he said, I, I know you. He said, you look familiar. And I said, well, I don't think, I don't think so. And so he was chatting with somebody else at the table, and they were chatting about a restaurant in Beverly Hills that uh, no longer exists, and they couldn't remember the name of it. And I said, oh, I said, it's Trader Vic's the Polynesian restaurant. He said, well, how did you remember that? And I said, my office was just down the street. He says, Were you, are you an attorney or a doctor? I said, no. I said, I was, I was a commodity broker for Drexel Burnham Lambert. He looks at me real squirrely and he says, are you Larry Pesavento? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, he said, I bought cougar ants from you in 1978. And you know, I still have them. And he bought 100 cougar ends from me. And I asked me what his name was. He said his name was Gary uh, Schaefer. And he said, uh, I, was an, I got out of law school and I went to work for a, an attorney in Beverly Hills named Louis Bernstein. And Louis was like my father. Uh, he's the one who introduced me to all of the, the movie stars and, you know, famous people that never had anything to do with 90% of them anyway, because he was in charge of, you know, giving their allowances and stuff. He handled all their money, he and his sons. And so he worked uh, for them 
And he was one of the other people that bought those coins. But I thought it was rather funny that uh, that happened. So it was uh, really, really unusual. Anyway, let's move on to some of these other things. The reason why this euro chart is so important, folks, it's the dollar. It's the reverse of the dollar. The dollar has been getting trashed here, and now it's changed, dramatically changed. We're down well over 200 pips now in the euro in just a very very short period of time and that is that's really <laughs> that that that's really very significant i'm going to show it to you here i'll just get it up here to take a quick look at it this well over uh 1500 that we're down so far and uh, this is it since a couple of days ago. What we were trying to do last night, and we were fortunate enough, we got the sell-off in the gold at 2028, but we missed the euro here by about six pips, and we've continued to go dramatically lower yet today. So there's a major, major uh, change in trend here uh, in the euro up at this 61% retracement. So we want to be uh, watching for a place to get in. Uh, on the short side, you'd like to see an ABCD move counter trend, which would be nice, or a 382 retracement. You know, something like that would re really be uh, spot on, also. So I hope that uh, is important. The other thing that I've been harping on uh, over the past weeks here is to pay attention to these banking stocks, folks, because they are not looking good. Even when they have really good, let me just bring one of them up here today because they've been, uh, hold on just a second, they've been yelling and screaming about how wonderful it is, and I don't think it's that wonderful. Let me get Bank of America up here. I haven't looked at it recently, so I hope it doesn't make a liar out of me. But there's Bank of America, and get this up here. And really good earnings. Ah, it's still going up. This is good. This is what we want to see here. This is just a 60-minute chart, and we're having a beautiful ABCD correction here. This is what I want to see. Oh, dear. This is mother God and country. I wish this were Las Vegas today because we are sitting right there at the old AB equals CD. We're up uh, about 10% here in the uh, uh, Bank of America. Let's get this up here. Those of you that are watching, if you want to sell something, this would be the one to do because it's in a certainly in a strong downtrend. And you can see there's a perfect ABCD right here. We had this uh, nice three drive to a bottom down here at the 2026. 20, We're now trading up at 30. A beautiful ABC counter trend rally. That's what it is. It's not even close to a 382 retracement. The 382 retracement is up there. Whoa, uh -oh, not coming through, not coming through. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Oh, I know what I got to do. I got to move it into the the other way to do it, and that's the hard way, but that's neither here nor there. Well, since I'm doing that, I want to do the daily on this to show you the fact how, how really sick it is. Hold on just a second here. We'll get this out of the way, and you'll be watching it just a second. I've got to do two of them, folks, so bear with me. Okay, this is a very nice bounce. It's known as the old dead cat bounce. Okay, the first one we're going to be showing you is the shorter-term version of this. Let's get up here, and we'll bring it up. Uh, oh, dear. Now, here, here's the shorter-term version. This is the, excuse me, this is the longer-term version. You're seeing we have a very nice rally going now here in Bank of America. That's one of the reasons why the Dow was up earlier. I think it's a Dow stock. I'm not sure anymore. But anyway, that's what we're having here is that little counter trend bounce. Hey, we're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. And we'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. C C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Mike from Florida calling in today about the dollar index. What's up, buddy? What can I help you with? Hey, Larry. I'm looking at the uh, dollar sign DXY, mm -hmm. and uh, on a 30-minute chart, it looks like we just finished a little ABC up at 102.231. Mm -hmm. But um, on the daily chart, I mean, it looks like we could, we could go a little bit higher, and I was wondering... Where do you think areas of resistance would be uh, for, the, for the U.S. dollar? Okay, Mike, what I've done is I posted it into the den here uh, over the past several months, and you'll notice it is a perfect uh, double bottom. You take out the low from uh, six weeks ago, well, uh, eight weeks ago, and all of a sudden yeah, the market February. rallies more than 100 pips. That's when the euro collapsed. And the euro was collapsing from the 61% retracement on the weekly. But on the weekly chart with the dollar index, you don't see that at all. I mean, it's uh, it's far, far away from a 61% retracement. So it's actually a little bit stronger than some people might think on a longer term basis. And the fact that it came out of here so strong, i.e. the euro so weak, uh, I'd be hesitant to, uh, you know, it might work on a 15 minute, it probably worked pretty good. But you know, make sure you have a stop in there because this thing runs, you know, it runs really fast. And I'm looking mm -hmm. to, you know, to be a buyer on a pullback, i.e. selling the euro. So that's what I look at right now. All right. But, um, <clears throat> so, so like on a daily chart, what areas of resistance? I mean, I'm thinking we can get up to like the 102.76. 103, 103 there. to 104 would be the two areas. 103 especially, but 104 right behind that. And if it gets there very quickly, you know, then you have to say, uh oh, well, then maybe there's something different here. But right now, it's actually normal. You just had a double uh -huh. bottom. It might only might reverse and go down and make new lows. Now I don't know, but there's some resistance right. at 103, like you point out. All right. I hope that well, helps. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, good. Hey, Larry, I just want to mention something. Many times you mentioned about your world travels, and I think you said when you go to Korea, you've had that fruit. It's called durian. It smells <laughs> like hell, but tastes <laughs> like heaven. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's uh, Chinese. My, it's my Chinese. wife is my wife is Filipino, and it's very uh, popular amongst the oh. uh, Asian countries. And so I've had yeah. it a few times. Well, I don't particularly care for it. There's a they have re- regular cafes in Hong Kong that they serve it, and just to have that fruit with a cup of coffee or tea or something, it's like a hundred dollars U.S. And I, they couldn't pay me a hundred dollars to eat it. My wife loves yeah. it. The whole family loves it, but. I'm not a Duran fan, but boy, does it smell bad. The taxi drivers won't even allow you to take it in the car. You have to keep it in the trunk if you try to take some home. That's how bad it is. But they like the taste of it, so I guess that's what's important. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I've tried it. I mean, I don't crave it, but uh, yeah. I, I like trying those different foods. Well, listen, yeah. thanks again for uh, everything you do for TFNN all the time you yeah. put in and everything. and. Yeah. All the great education you get us. You have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mike. And I will say this. It's a fun group to work with. I've been with them for 17 years, and the whole family has uh, adopted me. And so it's been a lot of fun. And, of course, I'm doing this show in the place of a real champ himself, which was uh, Dave White. And uh, just yeah. still can't believe he left so quickly. But uh, thanks for calling in, Mike. I, I really do appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Bye. You bet. Okay, folks, let's switch gears here and get into Apple. I want to uh, show you uh, Apple has been, you know, it, it, it's, it's everybody owns a stock or almost everybody. But this stock, if it can ever close above 67, uh, it's got a chance to really run. This is a, you can see the 135 pattern that we have here right now. It's uh, set up just, just, it's so perfect that you can't believe it. We've been as high as 66 as low as about 61. Today we're at 63 or something like that. But it really needs to get out of here. It's got it's got a really good chance. And if it does, it's because of this low right here. This low right there was a 382 off of this low right here, and that is extremely bullish. That means the ABCD on this is way up here at about the 174, 175 level. That's why it's so important. And given the fact that the news was so bullish here recently, uh, the, you'd think that the market would go crazy. Now, it's selling off a little bit today, probably just because it's oversold. You know, it's been in this area for a very long time. So that's what I'm paying attention to today, and I'm sticking to it. That's really what I'm doing. I'm going to be doing the show for the money show uh, in Las Vegas on the 26th, if you happen to be over there. I'm going to be doing live trading from 6 until 9. And I'm going to be talking about none other than A, B equals C, D. And I'm going to try to show the folks uh, why I like A, B, C, D. And all I'm going to do is I've got some charts for Apple. And I'll put, I, put, I showed these on my other show before, but these were fun for me. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a chart like this one up. Hello, I am. A, I, I think I am. Uh-oh. I guess I'm not. Uh, you know why I'm not? Because it's in here four different times, and that means I have to take them out of here. Otherwise, I will not be able to show anything. And now I will be able to show it because I have one example only, and here it is. I'm going to ask the folks, these stock traders that don't know me from Adam, and, uh, well, they probably know who Adam is, but uh, anyway, here is the chart that I'm going to be showing him, and I'm going to be saying, wouldn't it be nice if you could find a place right here and it'd be a really good buy at $125 a share. And all I'm going to be doing, folks, is going to be showing them A, B, C, and D. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to be doing it on multiple time frames. I'm going to show you the completion of this. I'm not going to bore you to death, you know, showing you the things that we look at every day, because I know you get tired of watching these uh, patterns unfold just like I do. But... Uh, this is what I'm going to be showing them. And I'm going to go down to a uh, daily chart. Then I'm going to go to a uh, one-hour chart. Then I'm going to go to an eight-minute chart. And I want to show these patterns because they're through here everywhere. This is all part of the fractal analysis stuff that was done by H.M. Gartley and 
none other than Benoit Mandelbrot, the father of fractal analysis. And I'll be doing my little PowerPoint presentation on that, showing how it all fits together, and then throw a little bit of a uh, little garlic and onion on it, known as Fibonacci numbers. And it fits together to get a pretty good idea of what you're looking at on some of these things. And there's another reason why I stayed around an extra day or two, uh, an extra week or two, was because what happened in gold here recently, this was the, one of the main reasons why I, uh, I came back is because uh, we, we had a trade on in gold that day, folks. I honestly got, I sold this 1.618 expansion up in here, and I got so much flack over the next 24 hours from people that know me. And one of Dennis, one of my followers here for, from quite a while ago, he said, I never heard you so, your inflection in your voice that way, but one other time. And he said, God, he said, you were right. And he said, I doubled my, no, he said, I tripled my position. And he said, that's the best move I, I've had in the last two years, he said, in the next 24 hours, because gold dropped, you know, well over $65 an ounce. Then last night, it rallied up to the exact 382. We were able to get that one off at 2028, and that made a couple grand. So that comes color me happy. Anyway, we'll take a break. 877 927 6648. We're going to have Norm Winsky on the line in just a moment. So we'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, technical difficulties beyond our control has put Mr. Winsky on the sidelines. We'll have him on again in a few weeks. But I wanted to bring the chart of the U.S. dollar index up, Mike, from... Uh, 
Ormond Beach, Florida, was asking about it, and I wanted you to see the double bottom that we had right here. But you see, there was no Fibonacci retracement here. Remember, the dollar index is made up of 53% of the euro, and then the other 47% uh, is the other 20-some countries uh, that are 20, I think there's 29 countries uh, in the eurozone, and that's the, their percentages. Some of them are really small, but the big ones, of course, are the yen, you know, the pound, uh, the euro, uh, Japanese, yet already Japanese yen, the um, Swiss franc, Canadian dollar, and Australian dollar. Those are the, the that covers the bulk of it. Plus, there's some other small countries in there that have a small percentage or two but the main thing is here the key is here the folks that we took out that low by just a little bit and that makes that a possible double bottom but there is no 61 percent retracement here and that's when i asked jim twentyman i said jt i gotta know you know what these numbers are and so we went into the euro because that's what we trade against the dollar and he assured me that yeah you're right he said it was right on so that is a good number and we've seen the market sell off you know dramatically since that so i i hope that gives you some indication of uh you know what we're looking at here as we're looking at some of these things and unfold here today now i wanted to i've already talked about the banking stocks and i've watched it we have a big move to date about a 10 percent off the bottom here in bank of america as the earnings come out uh, a little bit better uh, than expected but uh, i need to show you one trade that we had on that was just uh just looked like it was going to work, but boy, it just didn't. And that is the Treasury bonds. And uh, as you know here, folks, we had the, the high up here uh, pretty well pegged with that ABCD. And then we had this nice little move here. Uh, and then, of course, we had the buy uh, right there at 131.06 with a stop at 130.06. And you can see we went through this like it didn't even exist, telling you that the market was extremely weak. That means we're going to be taking this out. And that means the bear market in bonds has resumed. Uh, and that's it. Remember the high that we made up here, that was a 61% retracement of the high that we made, uh, you know, back about two and a half months ago uh, at uh, 40, 146, excuse me, it was a 3A2 off of that. So that was an indication that it might be. But now we know for sure that the bonds are in a bear market again. And we want to be watching for the first ABCD correction that we can get here to get short these bonds. I don't sell weakness because weakness has never been my strong point. It seems that every time I put a trade on uh, based on weakness or strength, I'm turning around and it uh, you know just makes me wonder, hmm, wonder why I did that. Uh, Mark Douglas worked with me on that for a long time and he said, look, you do A, B, C, D, you do it good enough to make a good living. He said, just do that. And that's what I really try to do. Now, I've had uh, because I've mentioned these dynamite triangles uh, many times in the past few weeks because people have asked me questions about it because we see them happening in runaway markets and we've seen it in the euro and the gold and stuff. That's the kind of thing. But we had one uh, in the natural gas, one that we missed. Uh, we had when well, we were long, we broke even on the trade and now it's about uh, 22 handles uh, to the upside. But you'll notice here, you see, this is a period – when you're looking at this, folks, you're looking at a 15-minute chart, okay? And so what you're watching here is you're watching something that will tell you that, by golly, guess what? This is probably, if it breaks out with this strength and this gap like this, that it's probably going to rally a lot. And that's what you're watching here. So let's pay attention to that because it's a very important uh, I haven't done anything with it yet officially, but I'm doing some research uh, uh, with it along with Jimmy Twentyman. And uh, if I get statistics behind me that says, hey, look, these are the parameters that we have. Uh, this is what you have to see. And you can identify it and it be replicated. Then, then I will take that pattern and put it in the old quiver along with the other arrows that I have and use it. It's only for two types of markets, folks. Running markets that are going like crazy on the upside or running markets that are crazy on the downside. And those are the kind of markets that can get people in trouble, but they can also they can also be your friend. That's for sure. You know, like in the euro last night, if you, you were doing that in the euro, I mean, it gave you several, you know, really great opportunities to come in and, uh, you know, make the thing uh, look pretty good. So I hope that helps as we look at some of these things uh, here today and we'll we'll go on from that level. 
as we're watching here. Hold on a second, folks. I have an order setting, and I want to make sure that I don't get it upset because I – one thing I don't want to do is to make a mistake. Like what happened last week was, folks, and what got me off the beaten path, and not only that gold trade, but had another trade where I forgot to put the order in, and that was in the hog market. And the hog market just went absolutely, you know, crazy to the up. Well, not crazy, but, you know, it's up three and a half cents today. So, you know, that's $1,400. They don't give $1,400 bills out uh, very often. So that's a couple of things that uh, i got to pay attention to here today as we're watching these things unfold uh, so far today. Anyway, I hope that helps uh, understand, you know, why I changed the vacation plans and stuff. And uh, But uh, my vacation is going to be a working vacation because I'll be in Vegas uh, meeting some old friends and stuff, which is always a lot of fun. But uh, I won't be doing the show here because the time sequence of the time that I'm going to be doing shows is right in the middle of when my radio shows occur. So I'll come back. Uh, the following week, which will be in May. Can you believe that? And when the first Saturday in May is going to be, uh, oh, I'll be back for that. Of course I will because, yes, we'll be able to do that real easily. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe this. Holy cow. I'm, I got an appointment here. To, uh, anyway, let's uh, got to get something fixed on the car. Not fixed on the car, but oil change. Okay, sorry. All right, let's move on here and see what else is going on. Very exciting. Not too much, but we're going to be watching some of these other things. Market's down a little bit, really not enough to, you know, to really make any de you know, make any dents in anybody's uh, uh, portfolios or anything like that. But these are some of the things that we're paying attention to today. Really, actually, if you look what the stock market has done, folks, it's you know, it's it's basically flat compared to where we were. I mean, we're a little bit below. The high is about 20 handles in the S&P, which is nothing between, you know, 4176, well, actually 4186, and the low was 4146. So that's still pretty close, you know, to uh, a high uh, that anything could happen at that time. I, I want to bring the chart of the German DAX up here, folks, on a daily basis. Uh, actually, it's a four-hour, so I can see it. I can see more things on a four-hour. You can get six weeks in. And that gives me uh, an easy time to look at the, uh, you'll see it right here. You can see the ABCD patterns that were up in here. I was speaking to Tom Hugard last night as this top was being made, and he was uh, referring to the fact that we were setting with these uh, all these numbers up in here. And I said, yeah, I said, this if it's going to stop, it's going to be within just a few points of where we were. And, of course, it did roll over a little bit. It hasn't rolled over a lot, but it rolled over a little bit. But... Uh, when you're trading the size that he trades, that's a lot. So let's uh, keep our hats off to the best loser wins. Tom uh, Hugard, uh, he shared some things about uh, his book, which is he's done an incredible job uh, with the book, and he's being uh, he's getting a lot of accolades for it, which he actually should. If you uh, you've seen, I'm sure you've seen the book, The Best Loser Wins, but uh, he also wrote a paper. If you would like a copy of that paper. I still have it, so let me know, Larry at TradingTutor.com, and I'll put it on the list and send it out to you. No charge. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing what's wrong. And uh, get I had some little technical difficulties here, but I think I'm back in business. Okay, I wanted to uh, share a chart of the gold and silver combined. Let me get this up here to take a quick look at it. Uh, hold on just a second. I've got it right here, right in front of me, and we'll be able to look at it right now. And, oh, wait a minute. They tell me that Norm is on the line now. Did technical difficulties uh, get all resolved all of a sudden? Norm, are you there? Can you hear me, Larry? Oh, there we go. Yeah, oh, the mic's coming in really nice and clear now, Norm. So, All good. Listen, why don't you uh, go over what you're looking at during this time frame that we have here in the market so that they can keep a uh, – uh, abreast of some of the stuff that you've done because the calls you've made in the past have been truly phenomenal and you're saying that the things that you look at um, you know that are very important are happening right now over these next few days so do you want to uh, tell the folks what you're seeing hey, as you know Larry I, for the folks who are new out there I do planetary cycles correlate them with the markets Mm -hmm. uh, coming up here on the, on the night of the 19th, we have a solar eclipse. That's a special kind of new moon. Anytime we have a new moon, we have financial. We look at financial screens and precious metals. By the way, the stocks respond to all these events. Then the night of the 20th, we have Mercury t t in Taurus turning retro. Great. And mm -hmm. uh, from the point of view of the Earth, it looks like Mercury is going backwards relative to the Earth. And, mm -hmm. and it's, that's going to be... Uh, your grains plus cattle and cotton. And mm -hmm. uh, here's what's interesting. Uh, the fact that those are only a day apart in the past, that's been a very powerful pattern for turn, major turns in the market. So I've gone back and researched about 10 years or more. Uh, the 10 year period that I researched, it was like nine out of 10, I think all but one were tops. We have that pattern coming up here. We're one day apart here. No guarantee it'll work, but it's it had a good track record in the past. Here's what happened the uh, uh, last time I was on Larry's show back in when we had this pattern in 2015. Uh, I told them about it, and uh, there we go. There's the uh, I think it was on the 19th, uh, right around the 18th or 19th, and on the 20th was the high of the day, high day for 2015. So you might want to pay attention to that. If we now produce this stuff to work really well. 
you want to, you, it, it's all about uh, Newton's law. For every action, there's opposite reaction, opposite and equal reaction. So we need the market to move up or move down into this window. It's going sideways. It's probably not going to do much. Okay. Then mm-hmm. I also use the U.S. the chart when, based on where the plants were when the country was founded. Anytime we have something lining up with that, that's important. That'll be the night of the twenty first. We have two points there. And anytime we have that, we have U.S. stocks, T bonds, U.S. dollar, and then we have another one to the U.S. chart, the night of the 25th, and then the afternoon of the 28th, we have two big points here: the Saturn changing signs going into Pisces, cocoa, coffee, hog oil, soybeans, T bonds, and also Pluto and Aquarius will turn retrograde, which will be looking at cocoa copper, hogs, and T-bonds. So mm-hmm. that's what I'm seeing coming up here. If you folks aren't familiar with me, I've been doing this about 50 years. I'm a former Chicago Board of Traders on the CBOE and the Board of Trade over a 12-year period back in the 70s and 80s when we had humans on trading floors. <laughs> and and you can get back to me here at, uh, there's my phone, it's 239-216-2578. Or you can email me at nwinsky at yahoo.com or call me on Skype at nwinski underscore one. Looking forward to helping some of the folks, Larry. Norm, thanks for joining us today, my friend. And uh, you do great work. We'll have you on again soon. And be safe, my friend. Okay, thanks a lot. Take care. You bet. Norm Winsky of Astro Trends on Naples, Florida. Folks, we've had a nice reversal in the stock market here. We've had a... Dow Jones rally uh, over 100 points here in the last uh, hour since we started the show. And we got the S&P almost unchanged on the day now here at 41.62. As we said before, you know, this is in a really tight range here from uh, 41.86 to 41.48. And, uh, you know, we're bound to see pretty big swings in these markets. And that's what we're looking for is the volatility. And that's what really makes it fun to trade some of these markets. Are they easy to trade? No, but are they fun to trade? Absolutely, and the only way they can be fun is if you put a stop in. Now let's get back to the gold and silver that I posted here in the den. As you can see here, um, we had a yellow, the yellow line, the overlaid line is the price of gold, and the, the bar chart is the price of silver. And you can see they've been running along together very, very nicely. You can see the ABCD structure on the gold up here at that 2061 uh, level. And the high was, I think, 2062. We've now broken 90, uh, $94, I think, today. Yesterday and today, we bounced back just a tiny bit. But this could be a pretty good correction uh, in both of these markets. And if it is, it's going to be a good chance to be a buyer because, folks, there is just really hard to get any silver coins, uh, the silver dollars, uh, or and a premium, but the silver, the rounds, the silver rounds that are made by many different companies are called, uh, well, they're not called tokens, they're called, oh, darn it. I, it's, well, they basically look like a silver dollar, feel like a silver dollar. They, they have the same quantity of the silver dollar, but they're printed by many different uh, companies. Some of them use the United States of America on them, but it doesn't make any difference. It's a pure ounce of silver, and those are very difficult. The premium on those folks is 16% or more, and that is that is up from about 4%. When we first started talking about this many, many years ago when uh, silver was trading at 7 or $8, and I have always mentioned since that time, that's the one thing you can't go wrong with because, you know, silver has hit $54 several times. Now, in the past, it did it in 1980 on uh, January the 20th, and it also did it in 2016. Uh, we backed off to $14 an ounce this last time. And now we're trading up around 26 was the high we made uh, on Friday. The back off today has been a dollar an ounce, which is really not any uh, big deal at all. But we need to watch it very closely because if silver ever does close up above $55 an ounce, folks, it could easily go to $100 an ounce. And the reason for that is the demand at this level is much, much greater than it was back in 1980. Things were different then. Remember, we had massive inflation then, and that's when the inflation started to go down. The market bottomed in uh, April, uh, excuse me, August the 9th of 1982, and has been going up, you know, ever since. So let's uh, 
keep in mind that the silver and gold want to be bought on any major pullbacks. Maybe $90 was enough these last two days. We're going to find out. But there's work to be done, and we have to be able to figure that also. So anyway, we've got almost a little bit of time left here. Uh, if you want to call in, it's 877-927-6648. We have a really close eye on three things, folks, gold, silver, and that U.S. dollar, i.e., the euro. Stock market's just jumping around, doing its normal thing, you know, up and down, which it does all the time. So that's not a big deal either. So let's keep that in mind. So let's take a break. 877-927-6648. And Billy Ray Valentine will be back to close up the shop in just a moment. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we've rallied back to be uh, unchanged on some of the markets, and Russell being the strongest, NASDAQ being the weakest. So this is a good sign that Treasury bonds have no friends at all. They've hardly had an uptick today, folks. Uh, still setting right on the lows of the day, down well over a full point. That means that U.S. interest rates are probably going to be going higher. 
as opposed to lower. So we need to uh, watch those very, very closely here because uh, it's something that is important to all of us because if the interest rates go higher, our costs go up on everything and inflation goes up also. Uh, food inflation is not nearly as bad. At least that's what they're telling us. Uh, the price of eggs have come down from uh, $6 a dozen down to about two twenty-five a dozen, which is important because they are, you know, basically 100% pure, pure protein. And that's what uh, really caused things to go up like your meat and pork. And, of course, pork has been weak up until the past three days. And cattle are continuing to rally after having a, a three-cent uh, correction uh, recently. So... Also, folks, uh, remember, folks, to do something nice for your neighbors each day because, by golly, you know, they're still having a lot of trouble out there. You can't take it with you, so try to help folks the best you can, and I think we'll all be better off as we look at some of these things in the future. Uh, trading is a lot of fun. Uh, as long as you don't make mistakes, and if you do make a mistake, make sure you take care of it because the first mistake teaches, the second mistake kills. And that kills means that you didn't do anything about the mistake that you made. And that's where the real problem therein lies. And you don't want to get involved uh, with that at all. It's just a very difficult thing, you know, to even even contemplate, actually. So let's remind ourselves as we're watching these things unfold that that's what we're, we're looking at here today. So I hope that helps. And uh, what do we hope this is it. Uh, the old bell is about ready to ring on this thing, so we'll have to take uh, take ear of what's going on, and we'll be right back tomorrow. So see you later, folks.